Hi, welcome back to Sarah Daily, where we give you our best simple, actionable, reliable advice to help you grow and scale your small business. Today we're talking about why you need to think about the concept of capacity in your small business and how it will affect your ability to grow. Capacity is essentially how much you and your business can handle at one time and how you handle it. And this, this affects both the business and you personally as the owner of the business. It's really important because a lot of us get caught up on this hamster wheel of more and faster and we really just want to keep growing at a consistent pace or at a, at a rapid pace. Um, and this can lead to overwhelm and overcommitment and at worst case under delivering because we didn't do the work initially to figure out what our true capacity is. So we overwhelm it and we break down. Don't want to do that. So let's talk about how you can think about capacity, understand capacity and manage it better in your business. First, we need to talk about what is business capacity. So business capacity is how much you can do in the business, how many customers you can serve, how many projects you can take on, how many systems you're able to manage at one time. This all ties back to the idea of growth versus scale. Growth is uh, the ability to increase revenue, but you're also having to increase cost. Scale is really being able to increase revenue um, and, and grow capacity without a bunch of increased cost. So understanding your capacity and how to balance that ability to add capacity to the business without a bunch of cost is what's going to enable scale. It's really, really important to understand this. Um, you also have to think about personal capacity, though, especially in a small business where you as the owner are really heavily involved in the day to day. This is how much you can handle. Uh, so this is heavily impacted by um, what you choose to pursue personally and um, which connections and relationships you're invested in, how you structure your time and manage your time, how much you're working on the business versus in the business. Your personal capacity is going to be really important and, and how you manage your personal capacity is going to be really important to how the business is able to grow, especially if the business requires a lot of your time. Um, and so when we think about capacity, we also really have to understand the concept of load. And load is the inputs into the system. So this is the tangible things coming into the business. And when we look at how you grow a business and all the strategy that we teach you here, here at Women in Inc. about how to grow your business, what we're really teaching you is how to increase the load coming in, how to get more customers in, more orders, more volume through your business. That's all load that, that takes up capacity. Um, load in your in the personal sense is um, relationships, it's stress. And some, some load is stuff you can control and that you are impacting like customer growth. You know, your marketing is creating load. If you want less load on your business capacity, you turn down your marketing. But some load you can't control like pandemic effects and um, seasonality. That, that um, change in load is outside of your control. And so you have to be able to adjust capacity or both things that you can control and things that you can't control. Um, and so when we look at how to manage capacity, it's really important to think about if what happens when you have extra capacity and how are you going to manage extra capacity because extra capacity is essentially opportunity. And when you are over your capacity, when you are overloaded, how do you either grow capacity to keep up with load and, and continue to grow? Or how do you recalibrate the business so that your capacity matches the load that you're comfortable with? So all of that is to say, it's important for you to take a little bit of time today. Look at yourself and your business. How much capacity do you really have? Um, how much capacity are you growing into? Are you currently in the process of hiring? Are you currently in the process of um, structuring your personal time a little bit better to create more capacity? Look at, at where you are currently and where you're headed with intentionality and measure that in terms of capacity just today, just for this exercise and look at, are you exceeding capacity? Are you on a path to exceed capacity? Um, is there enough load coming in for all this capacity that you're building? Or do you need to find ways to add load in? Meaning, do you need to do some more marketing? Um, thinking of it in this really kind of like engineering tactical sense might give you some tools to evaluate really pragmatically whether the business is on a path to have enough capacity to handle all the load you're going to send in or if you are going to exceed your capacity and put yourself in a situation where you would get burned out or not be able to deliver. So take that advice, do some work on that today, let us know what you think and for more tips like this check out the community, our online membership mastermind site for women who own small businesses. We love to talk about this kind of stuff. We definitely want to help you increase your capacity 
send more load into your business. Uh, this is all really good stuff on the path to growth and we would love to see you inside the community. Thanks for watching. Thank you.